Welcome back, everyone. We're going to continue our lesson on the beautiful Andimizion. Again, in the center is Jesus Christ. He should be the center and focus of our lives. In this case, we see his extreme humility, what he endured and suffered for us. He suffered the crowns. He suffered the beatings, the tying to the column, the scourging, ripping of his flesh, the disfigurement. He suffered all these things, and we see on here the instruments of his passion. We see the cup that he said he would take, the Garden of Gethsemane, when he prayed and prayed until blood literally came out of his perspiration. He prayed so hard. The rooster for the denial of Peter. When he denied him three times, the cock crowed and fulfilled the prophecy. We see the lance that pierced his side. We see the long pole upon which they put the hyssop and the vinegar. We see also the pitcher and the bowl which Pilate washed his hands from to wash his hands of the affair when nothing to do with this because his wife had a dream about this man who is the man as Pilate unwittingly said essay homo behold the man he had no idea that he was saying behold the son of God and son of man the perfect man little did Pilate know that he plays part in the sacred drama of our salvation in Jesus Christ. We see also the ladder from which they took down Jesus from the cross. We see the hammer and the nails and we see the dice over which the soldiers rolled and bet to receive his garment to divide it up which was not divided because the garment of Christ is seamless. We see up here above the cross the instrument of his passion and our symbol of victory over suffering and death through Christ we see the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, as they were prefigured at the hospitality of Abraham in the book of Genesis, when Abraham and Sarah invited these three strangers in and they gave them the hospitality. That particular image of the hospitality points to the Eucharist. The old is continued and points to and is fulfilled in the new here at the bottom where we see the mystical supper, the last supper of Christ with his disciples in which he instituted the Eucharist by the breaking of the bread and the wine. We have all the disciples here and we see John the Beloved who put his head on Christ's chest and asked Jesus who it would be that would betray him and we see the one who would betray him sticking his hand and dipping it into the bowl. And notice that the one who betrays him, you do not get a full profile of him. He's Janus faced, he's two faced. Therefore, you do not show his full face because he was the traitor, Judas the betrayer. All the disciples are here. We have a beautiful mystical supper, the institution of the Eucharist, which points to him being crucified, which points to his shedding his blood, so that by the shedding of his blood, we may be cleansed and purified, hence the white, and hence the blood red color of the border and the backside, which reminds us that Christ shed his blood in order to cleanse us and make us free and to make us a new creation in him. So many beautiful images and symbols and lessons in this on the Mitzvah. Just one of many beautiful traditions in the Greek Orthodox Christian Church. Megali, Monsieur.